video today. Me and Dan have come out to a run with me. There's been some really good scenes over the last few days. Sleep right over there in the distance. I've just picked up this nodule here, really pyritic one, and it looks like it's full of shells in the very middle. But it could have some ammonites, so I'm gonna give it a tap with my hammer. slabs here that have been washed out of the cliff fall up there by the recent rough seas. See a little nodule glaring out here. Just pick this nodule up here and there's definitely an ammonite inside although someone's already broken it but there could be more on the inside. This nodule here has definitely got an ammonite in, but there is a crack running down at this edge here, but I'll try splitting it anyway in a bit. And also, while I'm walking, I've just picked up this little shale slab, which is full of little ichthyosaur ribs. Unfortunately, these ones have worn away, which is a shame, but there's at least this little bit here. It's well worth bringing back off the beach rather than just letting it crumble away. So very happy with that. The lobster pot that's been washed in. Remember guys, if you do enjoy watching my fossil hunting videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button and giving the video a like if you've enjoyed it. See walking along this bedrock here, there's little shell impressions wearing out. Very cool bit of driftwood as I make my way across the beach. I know some people really like driftwood. I am looking for that big dead whale that washed up, what I filmed in my last video, but I had really rough seas recently, might have washed it away. Probably see how far we've walked so far. That's Runswick Bay in the distance right down there. So 
we've walked all the way around and we're walking around this headland here it's a very long walk usually you can only do it on a good tide just to be safe interesting how all the rock inside there gets all jumbled up as it's fallen down it's probably from an old landslide long ago i'd have thought i'm not a geologist though see something over there what looks quite interesting has anyone lost a canoe it's obviously washed up in all the rough seas let's go have a closer look at it that's the first time i've ever seen something like that washed up Okay, so we've made it round to get on this now. So I'm gonna put the camera down and do a bit of collecting. And if I ever find anything good, I'll get straight back on. At this point in the video I spot a large boulder with about 9 or 10 articulated verts on the very surface of the big nodule. It's a very rare find and one which I'm going to bring back. The bones inside this rock are from a 180 million year old sea creature called an ichthyosaur. All type of marine reptile bone on the Yorkshire coast is very sought after so it's a very good find and one I'm very happy to carry back. So Dan just Splitting it down to make it more carryable. It's going to go there. Look, there's, there is a crack there now. Is it? So this piece is already off being prepared. I'm going to get it cut and polished and I think it'll look absolutely stunning to see all the lovely detail of the 9 or 10 verts. If you do want to see it once it's been finished, please get this video to 250 likes and I'll be sure to do another video. I'm probably carry that. Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna. I decided to hide it in a rock pool. Hopefully, no one else would find it, so I wouldn't have to carry it all the way around the headland. Because remember, I've still got to walk it right back to Runswick. I just picked up this rock containing multiple quite rare ammonites. I think they're Pleuroceros ammonites and there's many on the inside and on the back of the rock. Once it's prepared it could turn out to be really nice. It's right where I left it, luckily. That would have been a disaster if someone had found it. There's the beautiful verts running through the rock. What a find. Mr. More jam with Hartley's got a big heavy bag to take back. <laughs> <laughs> what? How is that? God, I don't envy you. So I'm just making my way back towards the car park now. I've left Dan behind. I'm sure, he'll really easily catch up with me. I need to take a break every two or three minutes because it's such a heavy bag. <laughs> Thank you. 
hopefully you have enjoyed this video remember if you want to see more in the future please hit that subscribe button and give the video a like if you've enjoyed it i'll see you all in the next video